Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to show you how to remove and replace the Shaft.101 from Doormatic. This one I'm holding in my hand is an entire Kit.1197. When you order a Kit 1197, you're going to get the entire dogging mechanism. Okay, your Allen wrench inserts into the into the Shaft.101, and obviously you can manipulate that dogging feature by rotating the shaft. Now this video is how to replace the shaft.101. This video is based on the fact that I have it in my hand and not in the device, and, but we'll talk about that more in a moment. The short version of all of this is you're going to use channel locks and simply pull the shaft.101 out of the housing. It shouldn't be a problem. Now I, when I've spoken to Von Duprin and they've told me how the shaft 101 is replaced, they physically had the kit, 11, the kit dot 1197 in their hand and frankly it's easier to replace the shaft in my opinion when you have the kit in your hand but having the kit in your hand requires you to pull the device off the door so that you can unscrew this from the chassis that's probably going to be extra work for people and there might be a scenario by which you do not have the ability to pull the device out of the door okay in that event you're just gonna have to work with it this way let's identify the parts the shaft dot 101 the black piece that's here you can see the back side of it here you've got this green spring and it basically is shaped like crudely it's crudely shaped like like this okay and then your shaft okay I'm gonna pause this video while I correct my drawing okay I have the drawing modified so it will kind of look like this so there's a groove that's caught in the shaft here so that these angles can fit and bite and pinch into the groove that's cut in the shaft is how that works now, assuming I don't have a device here to do this installation with, but I don't think it's really going to matter. And I, I don't make a living doing this, but as I, so what I'm trying to say is there's a small amount of un, unexpe, unexpected uh, results uh, as a result of doing this. But when I pull on that, what's happening, these springs, the spring here and the spring down here, that's going to flex. And it's basically going to open up and give way to the point. So I'm just going to literally pull that out. And there's the shaft out 101. As you can see, it didn't take a lot of pressure to do so. But now the spring here has opened up a bit. So those springs that were holding, biting into the groove of the shaft have kind of relaxed out a little bit. I expect that when I push this back in, it's not going to fit very tightly. I, I expect that. I don't know that that will happen. Well, actually, it went back in super nice. Super nice and without any problem, and it's still securely held in. If it's not still securely held in, simply take a needle nose plier and try to work that spring down and close the bite down a little bit. And I've done that many times myself, so I know that it will work. So the fact of the matter is, pulling it out straight, just pull it straight out. And again, if it goes back in and doesn't stay in very solidly, pinch these two springs back down so that you can get the tangs bit into the groove cut in the side of the shaft out 101, and it's perfect. If you have any questions on this, uh, removal of a shaft out 101 and a replacement or any other Doromatic part, any Falcon part, any Von Duprin part, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.